So today I'm going to show you how to add a gallery inside of Wix. What you want to do is go into your site, go into editor, until you see your website editor like this. You want to go to a page by going to the upper left and click on the page that you want to add the gallery to. Then on the left hand side are all these little buttons. You want to click on add gallery. And once you do that, there's going to be all these options of different types of galleries that you can add. From masonry, collage, grid, grid portrait, all these different types. So you just go through these, scroll through them, and then pick the one that suits you best. Let's try this one. Once you have it, you can click to adjust on your screen and then you can click on this little gear icon for settings and here you can change where you have these navigation arrows right here you can turn that on and off you can turn on and off the play button and then you can turn on the auto play on loading here is very important you can change how long in between the images and I always suggest to go around five or a little bit more it's kind of fast, anything below that. Then when you keep scrolling down, you can have it, you can select this little down drop down. And then you can select if nothing happens when clicked, the open and a pop up or link opens. So you can select which one you like. And then you can select how to apply the transition effect. So we'll just try shrink. And then how long do they last in seconds? So let's say two, one and a half seconds. So you go up here to the X button and hit X. You can also click on this button here for layouts and choose how, how many columns you like. So right now it's set to three or you can do four. And if you want to do four and have it different, you can click back on this and click this little arrow here and just drag to make it bigger. Okay, so let's go back to that, this layouts. You can change the rows, how many rows you want, and the spacing. The spacing is the white area in between the images. So it's set to 10, and this is, you can go all, all the way from zero to 230, but I don't think you wanna go ever that high. So let's set it back to somewhere in between, how about, 10. 10 looks perfect. You can also click and change the design, which is what we initially chose, um, that area. And you can animate it, which is what, upon loading, have a cool effect for the gallery. All these different types. So let's see, kind of like they're, they have so many to choose from. So let's go with the bounce in. You can customize this by clicking on it in the customize button. I'm not sure if you saw that, I'll do it again. So if you click on this once, it'll show the effect here, but on the bottom it says customize. So if you click customize, this little arrow button, you can press it to get the effect so you can see what it looks like. For this little area, bounce, you can click this drop down and you can do a soft bounce, a medium bounce, or a hard bounce. So let's see what the soft bounce looks like. I like that much better. So if you scroll down, you can do the direction of how this bounce comes in. So let's say from the bottom right and then go back up and let's play and see how that looks. That looks pretty neat. So let's keep scrolling down and you can do the duration is how long it lasts. So let's change that to see what it looks like. Let's go all the way up to 255 and let's see what that looks like. So that seems pretty cool. So let's keep it there. The delay is if you want to wait while the page loads a little bit before loading this effect. 
So that's something to consider too if you have a lot going on on your page. And then you can set it to on or off for only animate first time. So let's X out of this. This next option is the stretch, which means it takes it from how it is now to full length, which is pretty neat as well. You can change the margins as well, which are these edges. That looks pretty neat. And you can X off of this. And then here's how to change the images. So what you want to do is basically when you first come onto your website where this page is, and then click change images. And you can either delete their dummy images or stock images. Or to add one, on the upper right, I'm going to click add image. This will show all the images that you have in your folders here on the left. Or you can go up here on the top and do social images from Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, Google Drive, Flickr, or Picasa. So it connects to your account. Or you can go free from Wix, which is free stock images, and they have a whole bunch. So if you look over here on the left, they have it sorted by categories. So let's just click on a few and then add to gallery. This is where it adds, and you can click and drag and drop to rearrange them. Now on the right hand side is the title, which you kind of want to do your keywords or something that's going to relate to your business so it'll help people find you. So I can say Clifton Designs um, Bubblegum. I'm not really sure why I would put bubblegum. Let's just go with it. You can do a description, which is you can do a description about the image or your company. And then you can also add a link. So when someone clicks on the image, it takes them to whatever link that you set. Click done. And then you want to hit save up on the upper right and publish on the upper right as well. So that will make it go live. And that's pretty much it. And it's pretty easy. So um, thank you for watching this video. And if you'll if you would like to have a website created, go to cliftondesigns.com and that can help you out. Thanks.